Okay, today we're going to do something to simplify connecting and disconnecting the portable solar panel. So each time I want to connect the solar panel, I have to uh, take the wires from the solar panel, bring them down, and plug them into these two connectors here. You wouldn't think that's difficult. No, it's not, but I want to have just one plug instead of two. I don't need the weather sealing because the panel isn't in the weather. If it's raining, I put the panel inside. So I've opted for this type of connector here. This connector is referred to as an XT60 connector. It'll carry 60 amps of power and the nice thing about it is both wires of the solar panel can be connected to this and a nice little trim piece can cover over the connectors. Now I only have to pull one connector apart. I like this idea. The only downside for anybody that might not be familiar is these connections have to be soldered. They're not a mechanical connection like the MC4 connectors. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves we need to make sure and if we're going to cut a wire we need to mark the wire to be sure we know which wire is which. So in this case, it's very faint, but I can see the plus mark here. So I made a little plus tag, and we'll put it on this end up here. So there we go. We've got our negative and our negative here, same wire, and our positive here, and it's kind of hard to see. That's a plus on that one, too. All right, so now we're all set to cut the wires. We're just going to do it evenly here and uniformly. So I'm going to cut them right here. And there we go. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Right down in this area, right down here on the yellow, there is a plus sign. And over here on the opposite side, there is a negative sign. So I've got my plus lead on this, on this side here coming in to the plus side and the negative lead going to the negative side. So now the job is simply to tin the wires here and then solder them to the brass connectors. The one thing I would say is make sure that you have this gray strain relief cover in place before you attempt to solder the wires because once you solder the wires you won't be able to get that on. So there we have two nicely welded solder joints. In order to squeeze the two parts together and have them click together I use the channel locks to coax the two parts together a little bit. So we're done with this side now we're gonna connect this cable to the other wires with the MC4 connectors on the other end. And now when we're done with that, we'll have one connector that we can unplug and plug back in rather than the two MC4 connectors. So there it is, all connected. And uh, if I want to move it to the side of the van, then it's easy enough to do that. I can just unravel some of this cord here and move around to the side of the van with it. Having a portable solution beats having a fixed solution on the van. I can, with an extension cord, move the solar panel into the sun and have the van in shade. Uh, I can move the panel from the back of the van to the top of the van to either side of the van and catch more sun throughout the day than I would be with a fixed panel. This connector then makes it easy to connect and disconnect the panel quickly and easily. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you think it might help somebody else, please share it with them. Subscribe. If you'd like to get more content like this, hit the bell and that'll get you notified as to when that content gets uploaded. And as always, comment as you see fit. Till the next video, see you later.